Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Danzel. I wanted to um, discuss the Brown Family Spending Plan Project, uh, maybe go into a little more detail and show you exactly what it is you should be doing with the Brown Family Spending Plan. So as we talked about in the last couple of days, the assignment is found in here and you're going to be using this PDF to find information to fill in this spreadsheet. Now you have a couple of different options. You can work on the spreadsheet inside of Teams. Um, and I think most of the time that's going to work okay. I'm not sure if yours has this button up here, but you would obviously need to change it to editing. Um, so you can work on it in here. And notice there's a February sheet and a March sheet. But you also have the option of going to File, Save As, and Download a Copy. and after you've done that, it's going to appear in your downloads uh, in your file explorer. So there it is right there. You can open it or you might be able to drag it into your OneDrive or wherever it is you want to save it. Um, and then, so see, I would put mine inside of the financial literacy folder right there. Uh, maybe spending plans. I have a folder called spending plans. But anyway, um, you'd want to save it somewhere in there. Now if you do that option you will need to remember to save it um, you, Sorry, you will need to remember to save or attach it back to your assignment before you turn it in so keep that in mind Now let's say uh, you did download it and you're working at it in working on it in the Excel um, app so after you read through the, um, the narrative, you're going to find the numbers that you need. Now, I'm going to put in some sample numbers. They're not going to um, add up, or they're not going to be the, the correct numbers, but um, I'm just going to put in some numbers. So you're going to put in these numbers, and you um, there's some calculations in there that are already preloaded. So when you type in numbers, it's going to start calculating. So Let's say John makes 500, so the total income 750. There's also some percentages out here, so when you start adding housing expenses and saving expenses, things like that, it calculate these, calculates these percentages out here, and also total expenses. Total fixed expenses, we also have total flexible expenses. So you're going to look at these percentages eventually. The other thing you're going to look at is the total income minus total expenses. This is very important. This number needs to be zero. When you are done, it should be zero. So, and it's going to appear as a, a line probably, but it should be zero. If you have a negative number like that, that means you've spent too much, your expenses are too high. Or if you have a positive number like that, it means you, have, you either your income is not high enough, or your income is too high, excuse me, um, or you haven't spent all your money. But this number should be zero. Now, when you are done with February, as the instructions state, you're going to copy, you're going to right click and copy your control C, you're going to copy it over to March. You can also resize the columns. Watch what I do here. I select all of the columns, and then you go between a column heading, double click, it'll automatically adjust. So in March, what you're going to do is look at the percentages and compare them to the percentages of the pie chart that's in the PDF. These percentages also appear in your notes. So if your housing is more than 30%, which is what the recommended spending is, you're going to try to drop it down to 30% or less. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be, but it uh, should be 30% or less. And you need to look at all these percentages and compare them to uh, what appears in that pie chart. If there's any that are lower already, than the recommended spending, leave them alone. 
We're only looking at ones that are too high. <clears throat> so if they're too high, adjust the amount they spend and uh, get it to that recommended percentage. And if you have money left over, what should you do with it? If you have extra money, what should you do with it? Yes, you should save it. So put that extra money into savings if you have any. And that's it. Hopefully that helps explain the Brown family project a little bit better. If you have further questions, you can check with me, um, but hopefully this helps.